want to talk to you about the difference between a speed graph and an acceleration graph. If you take a look, you always want to read the x and y axis. If you look down here at the x axis, it's time in seconds. And if you ever look over here on the y axis, it's distance in meters. Now remember, the formula for speed is S equals D over T. And if you take a look from distance, that's where we get the D. And over here, time, we get the T. So again, remember, this is the formula for speed, D over T. Notice right here, we've got distance and we've got time. So this must be a speed graph. Another thing I want to point out is if you notice the slope here, A was our fastest RC car in our race. Look how steep that line is. B was the slowest. Notice it's not as steep. C was our average speed for our car C. What if a car was down here? That would be our slowest. And this over here would represent a very fast car. Let's go ahead and take a look at the acceleration graph. Notice with the acceleration graph, it has time also on the bottom in seconds, but it has speed on the y-axis in meters per second. So we always know if it has speed on this side, the y-axis, it's going to have to be an acceleration graph. Now take a look at car A. It accelerates very quickly. It's increasing in speed. It continues to accelerate, but not quite as fast. C begins to accelerate quickly and then slowly continues to accelerate. Remote control car B accelerates. It slowly accelerates more. And then from here to here, it actually is constant speed. Let's take a look right here. Notice it's 1.8 meters a second, 1.8 meters a second, and then notice it goes to 1.5 meters a second. Take a look. This would be 1.8, 1.8. It's a flat line, so it represents constant speed, and now it's slowly decelerating. Hopefully this helps you between the speed and acceleration graph.